doing some David Copperfield magician stuff here. So I can't take credit for this because it's not my idea. Stole it from somebody else. But, oh, and I also stole my son's Xbox controller. Look at that. So I've got wired, wired uh, keyboard and mouse. And so often I have to walk all the way from the computer all the way around all this crap to come over here. I'm cutting something over here, or if I've got, here, or if I've got a, if this gets knocked off and I've got to replace it and, and put it somewhere, or if I got, I need to center something, or I need to start a cut over here, and so often I'm just walking back and forth, wasting time. Well, now uh, I wanted to try this. I saw somebody else do it, and it, it takes a little bit of work to do it. It has to be Bluetooth, of course. There's no wires. Of course, we're missing a, a cap here to the uh, back of the battery, and it's about ready to die. But, uh, and he's probably gonna kill me because he's gonna have to re-sync this to his uh, Xbox console, but hopefully it won't be too bad and he'll get over it. But, as you can see, I've got it mapped. So you have to download, I'll show you in a second, it's a little software thing, it's free. Uh, it's got a 14 day trial. I don't know if it's gonna make me pay for it after that, if that means I can't use it or what. Um, and what as you can see on this controller here, all right, so this controller, see how this whole piece is solid? It's made as one. That's the one you gotta have. There's another one that I was looking at that this piece is separate and you can see a separation. It's a separate piece, separate material. This is all molded together. This is the one supposedly you have to have. I'm not great with electronics, so I don't know. I'm just going by the, the videos I looked at. Um, so this is one you need, Xbox. And then uh, what I'm gonna try to do is find just a used one on Facebook Marketplace or something. But what I did, I mapped the up, down, left, right, so basically X, Y axis, and then also uh, I did the um, Z axis, ax axis, not axis, at Z axis, so I can move this up and down because that's basically all I need. I just need to be able to move it side to side, move this up and down, and then I also put the, the left little button here, the left finger button, I don't know what that is. I don't play video games. Um, that's my speed, so I, so I don't have to just sit here and crawl and wait for it. I can bump it, whatever I need to do, and um, get it get it there faster. So that way I can be all the way over here at the other end of the table. I can say, oh, that's where it needs to go. And I can run it right down um, and get it right exactly where I need it to go. So let's see here. Well, my TorchMate software, I'm sorry, not TorchMate. That's what I use to draw. That's for, uh, Make sure I'm in autofocus. So you're on my com computer screen here. This is the MAD software, not the TorchMate. That's what I draw in. That's my old table. That's what I still use to draw some. Uh, it's on my other computer. Here is the MAD software. This is what runs the JD squared plasma tables. And you don't have to do anything in there. You don't change anything there. Um, and I can still use the keyboard. As you can see, my up, down, that's it. That's all I use, page up and down. And then my shift is uh, my hot key for speeding up. But what you have to do is you have to download this little software. It's called Rewazd. I don't know how you say that. R-E-W-A-S-D. You have to download that. And then what this is, this is the mapping portion of that. Um, get out of that. And so what you do, you download the software. It takes about 10 minutes. Download it. And then you have to bring in here to your mapping this is like a little, it's almost like an app that pops up. You go up in the top right corner, you'll hit add. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your um, whatever um, remote you're using. I think you can pretty much use um, PlayStation remotes, Nintendos, whatever, uh, if as long as it's got Bluetooth. Um, Cause that's the whole purpose. If you put a wire on it, it's kind of defeating the purpose. And then what you have to do is you have to go in here and you have to click your options. So. What I did is my X, Y, A, and B, I use them as my uh, controls because I'm right-handed. So I use that as my up and down so I can sit here one-handed and I'm not doing it now because I'm not on my screen. Uh, whatever screen's up is, is what you're looking at. If, if I wanted to move, I had to click back on my uh, MAD software screen. So um, you can see it's moving on here. And so basically I, can, I mapped the up uh, to be the Y, the left is X, the down is A, and the right is B. And then I also did um, the, I don't know what you call this, but here, 
That is my shift key, which is my speed. And then my, um, I think it was. So this controller here, the little joystick on the right, I used that and mapped it to my page up and down. And basically what you do is you just have your options here, you highlight your Y, and then you'll come over here and I can change this at any time just to hit the drop down menu and it basically goes through every option that's on this keyboard and I can pick any option on here. Uh, whatever that may be, that's gonna control uh, whatever these buttons are. So you're just mapping and, and replicating what's on here. I take the arrow and I make the Y that arrow. Um, so it's pretty simple. Took me a minute to figure out how to get to here. Uh, but once I did that, it's absolutely simple. You hit apply up here in the top left corner. And once you do that, you'll get a little notice down here saying it's linked to your Xbox controller and voila, it's good to go. So pretty awesome. Uh, I just want to share this. Like I said, I did not come up with this. Um, actually, uh, Lift Arc Studios, who is up in Roanoke, uh, we've actually met him. He's, he's uh, related to the owner of, he's actually the son of Black Dog Salvage, one of the uh, owners of that. He's got a little um, welding shop he started a, a year or two ago. And um, I follow all his stuff, and he's got some pretty cool projects. We actually do a lot of similar stuff as far as rails and custom signs and so forth. And um, that's where I got the idea from. So I thought it was pretty cool. I just wanted to try it. I'll see if I can pick up a Xbox controller um, and see if I can link it. And I'll have to deal with my son because, like I said, he's probably going to be mad. Now he's got to resync it. But I just wanted to try it. I told him I was taking it. So all is well in the world. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend. And um, check out our last video, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. So the only issue I see so far, and it, I don't think it does it when I use just a normal button, but when I hit my hot key for my shift, which is to speed it up, um, and I don't know what percentage it's at, it's got a setting. When you bump this, it speeds it up like 50% or something. There's settings in the, the, the MAD software from JD Square that you can change that. Uh, I wouldn't want it any faster, but it just helps when you have to go across a 10 foot span. Uh, you know, you don't want to sit there and just watch it go at a snail pace. But the issue is, it seems like it hangs up. It's not doing it now. See, uh, I kind of let go and it kind of continues. So I'm not sure if there's something in there, if I just need to kind of just run it slower. Um, like I said, most of the time I can jog it over close to, you know, from the computer, I'll jog it to where it needs to be. And then I'll get closer and then I'll, I'll run my, my torch down, the, the, uh, down to the, the material. And then I'll just be in the Z axis, Z axis, axis, Z axis. Uh, and then the, the X and Y, I can just bump over. It's probably good enough to, to use it on that speed. So anyway, cool deal.